Assalamu alaikum. This is your computer science teacher, Sir Fawad Aftal Sari. Let's resume our pre release material for the October November 2022, and the paper code is 22. It is for both boards. Subject code 2210 and 0478. I did a little alteration in my pseudo code, and I tell you which portion I'm talking about. I'm talking about this portion, the input message. I removed this from my sudo code. The reason is that I just rearranged my statements and I generated a new sudo code. So I, when I will share my files with you, you will not see this section of code in my sudo code, altered version of the sudo code. So I have removed this part from the sudo code. So let's jump to the start, uh, jump to the task two that we have discussed here. Task two key points, let's discuss about it. It is about adding accessible parking spaces. Okay, so it says that the visitor car booking system is to be redesigned, All right? It is redesigned and it will offer the user to the visitor. It says accessible spaces are from one to five and general spaces are available from six to 20. You can consider like the VIP parking area or the general people parking. Then it says now extend task one and add the following. When a visitor requests a parking space, they are additionally asked if they need an accessible space. Like I did it here in my program. When I input the vehicle number and the visitor name, then it asks, do you want accessible parking or general parking? So this point I validated here. So if visitor agrees, uh, our program will allocate the first available space and it will begin from the space one and finish at the space two. It is about when a visitor requests a parking space, they are additionally asked if they need accessible space. So we are not talking about general. We are just talking about accessible space. If user says, yes, I need it, then our system will start allotting the number between 1 and 20. If visitors say, no, I just want general parking, though, so uh, the general parking space start from 20 and finish at 6. The reason besides that, uh, behind that point, like it will start from the uh, last values because it is a general parking. We are not treating our customer as a premium customer or the VIP customer. So we will allot them the numbers which are in the very much end. So that is why we are allotting the space number starting from the 20. And the VIP customer, we will treat them by allotting from 1 till 20. So starting number will be allocated. Next key point is visitors require accessible parking may be allocated one of the 20 spaces, but visitors who do not accessible parking may only be allocated general spaces that I covered in above these two scenarios i have already discussed this point this is just the reminder the summary of the above key points so let's see how our pseudo code will work task two variables and constant declaration so general parking uh, we have a star we have stored the value for the 15 general parking is 15 because it starts with the 20 and adds at the one so that is why when it starts with a 20 and adds, uh, ends with the 6, so we have got 15 numbers left. So that's why we said the constant for the general parking is a 15. Then we will also count general parking and we store the 14 values excluding 1 for the 14 days of course. Next variable to count the accessible parking number for the 14 days, it is here. Next we will take the variable to for the choice that if a user wants accessible parking or the general parking. If he says that he needs a general parking, he will press G or if he needs accessible, accessible parking, he will press A. So it will be stored in this variable. Next, we showed it through the input statement and the choice variable has been given. If the user press lowercase g or the uppercase g, then we will uh, uh, check, uh, we will provide our validation check. So if it is the general parking number, if it is less than general parking, we are counting it basically. 
if count general parking is less than general parking then what we will do our code will calculate and add general parking space number see it is a same formula that we have done in the task 1 it is the same formula that we have done in the task 1 so if you have not watched it then kindly do it now so you may have the clear understanding of the formula so this is how our parking space will be generated the only difference is here I use the count general parking because we are about to count it, count it for the 14 days next new parking number how we will generate it we will subtract the counting of the general parking from the maximum parking which is 20 maximum parking is 20 and our counting whatever be the number if it is 6, 6 7 8 or 19 18 17 it will be subtracted from the maximum parking and stored in the <coughs> new parking number then we will display a message that allo allocated parking number is whatever be the value it will be displayed by the variable now our count our count of the general parking number will be incremented by the one otherwise if it is not available then we will show using the output message general parking booked and we will close our condition statement another validation check ensures visitors choice that what if user presses accessible parking and he use a uh, and he input the lower case a then this formula will be applied here the only difference in the formula is i removed general parking and i just use accessible parking the same formula that i i have used it for the general parking is implemented here and then we will display allocated parking number is new parking number and if and then we will uh, ask the user that do you want to continue if user press a small case n or, or lower case n or the upper case n then our program will work accordingly this is a task 2 and I hope you understand if you do not you may ask me question and get ready for the task 3 thank you so much love is